some upgrade means some tool some tool is for the one of the add on installations we can do it means upgrading the our sap systems using the some tool so anything all the ways we can perform using the some tool here only here the some usage is updating your sap systems means if you update the components components means so if you go to the system status system status you will see the all the components here if you go to the system status you will see the all the components here these are the list of components and their release version their com their sp level sp level means the version of the component here right if you update this one you are upgrading the your sap system only you are upgrading the your sap system only here upgrading the sap systems here so so if you update the components the updating the components are adding the new components using the some tool it's a only one one tool using this some tool some means software upgrade manager tool we can update our sap systems from one version to another version we can perform it here using the some tool here some upgrade manager updating our sap systems here right so here what we have to do to perform this one this is the very important topic here why because each and every interview they definitely they may ask you questions on the some upgrades only here right why because spam and saint are the old methods old mechanisms so but using the some tool at a time we can apply the so using the some tool at a time we can apply the patches at a time we can install the new add-ons we can up we can update so we can release upgrade all the activities in one tool we can perform using the some some tool here right so what we have to do to perform this activity what we have to do it in the sap systems here right to perform sap upgrades so first of all we need to we have the some preparation activities we have to do it here directly we cannot launch the some tool and do it so there is a some preparation activities we have to do it here the three steps here so what are the three steps means the first one is the so so generating the generating the so your stack dot stack configuration file this is the the first and foremost important activity here generating the stack dot xml file here generating the stack dot xml file stack configuration file for your upgrade your upgrade activity for your system okay so whatever the system you are going to add it we need to generate it here so before the generating first of all our systems our sid our sid should be up to date up to date in service marketplace in service marketplace and maintenance planner in the explore system we should be up to date here in case in case in case in case system is not up to date not up to date means it's not up to it's not update it's not up to date okay it's not up to date then we need to then we need to push the data from so your uh sid sid snd rz72 rz72 so solman solution manager lmdb from here to so then so your service marketplace in the maintenance planner we have to push it here there is a navigation so otherwise otherwise so there is a option so download the download the system info file from saint transaction code and and upload in upload in upload into the so service marketplace maintenance planner then explore systems so these are the steps we have to perform it here so these are the steps here we will get the two three questions at a time same time but because we will mention like yes we have done the upgrade here because upgrades are the very major activity in the sap systems you who if you perform the upgrades in your system then you are the main person in the in the your team why because this is the normally 
very high higher experience people will perform the upgrades in our sap systems here so the first one generating the stack configuration file right so so in the, in case sid your system sid suppose like so sid suppose like nd4 suppose the example nd4 system is should be up to date in our service marketplace maintenance planner in case of i will show you in case of that is not up to date then we need to push the data from rz70 suppose system is not up to date means with respect to, to the this component up to date means whatever the this component versions we have same should be available in the in the service marketplace in the service marketplace in the maintenance planner in the it should be same should be available in the service marketplace in the maintenance planner here in case of it is not up to date then manually we need to push it out one way is the go to the rz70 anyhow all our systems are connected to the solution manager every day so then go to the here here we need to maintain the solution manager sld then click on the push button automatically data will be pushed to the automatically data will be pushed to the solution manager sld from there to lmdb lmdb to then all your systems coming to the in this list here in this list it will coming to the in this list here right i will show you here right so that list will come so it will push the data here like that you will get the message here right otherwise we have to down you have to generate you have to go to the saint transaction code saint saint transaction code from there you need to download it here from there you need to download go to the saint in the utilities in the utilities Okay, this is the lowest version. If you go to the highest version of the SWPM, suppose I, if I take the NWD system or ECD, ECP systems. Okay, so here just log into the system. license is going to expire in 4-4-24 so here go to the saint transaction code saint transaction code here in the saint transaction code so there is a utilities utilities generate the sysinfo.xml file here utilities generate the sysinfo.xml file here So it will download the system information file. So that system information file we have to upload into the service marketplace here. So these are the mandatory activities we have to do it here. Then so generate the stack.xml file, download it, then calculate the means uh, generate the stack.xml file and download the all the the patches, all the patches and moto moto application server level where is your sap is running you have to move to the application server level here then as a pre steps we need to check the free space free space at db and sap level we need to check the free space here once done it then we need to check the we need to check the if any unreleased transports if any unreleased transports we need to release it so these are the important things here. They may ask you the points. You need to release it, right? And also, if any open updates found, open updates of if any updates, if any 
failed updates then a failed updates we need to reprocess r reprocess r so clear them we need to clear them here right if any failed updates we need to reprocess r so if any queues mcex star queues especially for the ecc so we need to so reprocess r so clear the we need to clear it okay these are the things also they should not be there should not be there should not be a so inactive objects inactive objects we can see it in the se80 transaction code here right and so if any field updates and fix queues then so then we need to we need to book the book the development dev resources dev resources to perform the so spdd and spau activities spau activities here spau activities here all right so these are the some important three steps we have to do it in our systems before we start the upgrade some upgrade actual procedure here otherwise you may face the issues here that's why these are the preparation activities here in the team they will ask you what are the preparation activities we have to do before the upgrade these are the preparation activities we have to start in the upgrade here right so now let's start how to so calculate this is a very important here normally remaining all those things very important very simple checking the free space right downloading the checking the any unrelated transports if you go to the se suppose if you go to the se01 se01 we can find out the if you go to the se01 unreleased transports right means it's in the modifiable status right just put the star here click on the display status here here it will give the unreleased transports okay these are the modifiable status so we had not released it. so we need to unrelease we need to release them or we need to unlock the objects also in sm 13 sm 13 there should not be any failed updates we need to clear them here we need to clear right so there is a one update request we need to clear them okay and then also in the smq1 especially for the ecc systems there should be a mc ex queues mc ex queues here if any queues are found then we need to we need to clear them the queues also we need to clear them means queue entries here if any entries are stuck we need to clear that entries here so all these prerequisites space so any inactive objects if you go to the se80 se80 so here you will find the objects SEAT transaction code. So here, there we can find out the so all the information, objects related information here. SEAT. So any inactive objects, invalid objects, we need to make it active or we have to inform to the object means functional development teams. We have to inform development teams. We have to inform. Downtime is required for the security system. No, no, no. Free, free tasks. Free tasks means there is no downtime. So, downtime is required in the actual crossing time. I will tell you where is the exact crossing. So, so maybe when you are when you are started the stump tool, some tool starting process is also different. So, SWPM is directly we can just click it. SWPM, SAP, NST will be started. Then we can do the all our activities. Right? But here, the procedure is different for here. The procedure is the different here. In this procedure here right so here you see compiling means we never executed any 
this SEAT transaction code in NWDR ND4 systems. That's why it's showing the, so it's compiling. Still, it's compiling here. Uh, sir, what are the backups we need to take in a pre request for this? Yes, yes, yes. We need to take the backup also. If required, yeah, definitely. We can I mention that one. So take the take the full DB backup before you start the some execution, some processor, some some processor here. That is also one of the very important point. Some processor. In worst case scenario, something goes wrong, we can revert it here. Yeah, that is also one point. So at least if you explain, so um, 10 points, that will be enough. Why? Because main thing is the updates, clearing, queues, you know, inactive objects, releasing that space, and calculation of the stack configuration file. This is the very important activity, generating the stack configuration file for your respective SID. That is the main thing here. We have to do it here, right? So here, you can see here, there is a uh, option inactive objects. So just to maintain the star and check it out if there are any inactive objects. So then you will see the inactive objects here. Normally developers will work on that one. This is a repository browser, SEAT. So here if any inactive objects, here we need to so check it out here. No inactive objects, then we are good. So then we can directly go and start the so. So generate the stack stack.xml file here. Stack.xml file, we have to generate it here. So while generating this one, I'm pausing the recording here. Why? Because here, uh, I, will, I will tell you why I'm pausing the recording here. In the off recording, I showed you how to calculate the, the step number one, right? Downloading the patches, normal procedure. The one more important thing is some versions here. What is the some versions we have to download it here? right some has two versions here some 1.1 and some 2.0 so some one point is one is for the if the sap netweaver version 7.5 below then we have to use the so some 1.1 so if the your sap netweaver version 7.5 uh, and above 7.5 and 7.5 above we need to download the sum 2.0. This is one of the guarantee compulsory question they may ask you. So this is for the above stack systems here. Okay. This is a, one of the guarantee question people may ask you from 1.1, some 2.0 things here. Okay. So that is the one. We need to concentrate. Okay. So this is a XML file calculation. Now what I will do, I will download the all the patches I will keep it ready for tomorrow's then so we can start the some tool some tool we can start it then we can so go with the upgrade activities now without downloading the dispatches we cannot go ahead further why because patches should be ready then I will keep the all the patches into the in this location here in this location here so let me see whether I have the already some tool is available someone already I think it's not there it's not there so definitely we need to NWD, nothing. Yeah, nothing is there here. So we need to download the patches. Definitely so we have to download the some tools. Here anything, nothing is there here. Here anything. Here also nothing here. All of the WPM installation software. Yeah, we need to download it, the software as well. Okay. What I will do, I will download it. We will keep it ready then why <clears throat> because the downloads are take will take a lot of time so then what i can do i will download the all the softwares will keep it ready tomorrow either the nd4 or nwd system we can take it forward so i think nd4 we can take it forward we can update it meanwhile uh, i will request everyone please configure the tms configuration between these two nwd nd4 you can reconfigure it something is not wrong as I seen previously, so please configure the TMS configuration. Okay. Is it clear? Yes, sir. Okay, sir. 